Welcome back. Harley, Ducati, Honda, Suzuki. Whether it's the thrill of riding or just pure pleasure, a growing number of women are revved up over motorcycles. And motorcycle manufacturers are taking notice, going full throttle to tap into this growing market. Sharon Carpenter has more. Once known as the man's motorcycle, Harley-Davidson became an iconic brand for the tattoo-bearing tough guy. After roaring through 18 years of growth, Harley recently hit a rough patch. Lower than expected first quarter sales has prompted the company to throttle back on production. The new scent stock plummeting and overshadowed its record first quarter revenue. One reason for the slowdown, the company's core customer. That core demographic, as they age into their 50s where they're not buying bikes at the same rate uh, that they did in their 40s. An unexpected group of riders could help put Harley back in the driver's seat. Women are now the fastest growing group of motorcycle riders, accounting for 10% of its sales. That's compared to 2% 10 years ago. Dealers are witnessing the change. You had mostly guys or men that would come in. Today we have a lot of women that come in. The trend is industry-wide. Today, one in 12 riders is female, and we're not talking about your stereotypical biker chick. Women that buy motorcycles today are in their mid-30s. They're married. They're well-educated. So why are more women buying bikes? The reasons vary, from more disposable income to saving money. The gas prices were getting so high, and I thought, well, I might just as well go for a bike. Last year, overall motorcycle sales in the U.S. raced past one million, to a level that hasn't been seen since the 70s. But Harley's problems have other manufacturers concerned that an industry-wide slowdown might be down the road. That has bike makers like Kawasaki, Suzuki, and BMW all eyeing women. Manufacturers are more aware of women riding and then spending money and thus they'll have products that women want to buy. Many of the newer bikes on the market today are lighter with lower seats and are more suitable for a woman's physique, although there is no motorcycle that's made just for women. But many major bike manufacturers are investing time and money on a safer bet. Accessories and apparel just for women, many of which are both functional and fashionable. This jacket by BMW is not only stylish, there are safety pads in all the right places. While the actual bike can cost anywhere from $5,000 to over $20,000, many women are adding thousands more to the tab. The jackets and the, and the riding gear and then the accessories for the bikes, you know, windshields, um, chrome, lots of chrome goodies. To entice women to spend their money, manufacturers are working to promote themselves as female friendly. Harley's now including women in their advertising. BMW of Manhattan works with motorcycle instructor Diane Howes to train its customers. In New York State, she's the only woman owner of a motorcycle safety school. They're trying to attract and focus more on women, so we're really happy about working together with them. And with a potential slowdown in sales for the overall industry, bike manufacturers are recognizing that women manage the purse strings. In fact, they control 85% of discretionary dollars spent in the U.S., and that has motorcycle makers motivated to tap into it. Sharon Carpenter, Market Watch, New York. There are a wide variety of motorcycles, racing, commuter, muscle, and chopper, just to name a few. But women seem to prefer cruisers, which make up 80% of the preferred bikes that are purchased. Sports bikes are the second most preferred bikes by women.